Okay, so 27 of every 48 residents of a small town are male. The total population is 17,808. How many of the residents are male? So 27 out of 48. So in other words, 2748s of the total are male. Make sense? That's the first thing, just to kind of turn, turn that into math. 27 out of 48 are male. This is the total amount of people in the town. So we have 2748s of the population. So we have to get 2748s of that number. And that's, that's the math problem we have to figure out. Does that make sense so far? Yes. All right. So and we can, you can write it down along with me as well if you want. So first thing I want to do is I look at that fraction and go, well, let's, let's simplify that down a bit. And I think that 3 might go into 48. 3 into 27 goes 9 times. 3 into 4 goes once, remainder 1, <clears throat> and put a 1 beside the 8 to make 18. Right? And you guys can write this down as well as you're doing it. 3 to 18 goes 6 times. So we have 9 sixteenths of means multiply of and we can turn this into a fraction also put it over one one seven eight oh eight over one okay so now we've got to get nine sixteenths times that the of becomes multiply right and just a quick example, if you want to get one half of 50, you would go 1 over 2 times 50 over 1. That's one way of doing it, which is 50 over 2, which is 25. So of, I'm just doing that quick example to show that of means multiply. Remember that? So, so now we've got this times this, and we can cross cancel. Now there's a 16 here, and there's this number here. This number is even, and this number is even. So we can put a 2 into both, right? Are you writing down with me now, anybody? 2 into 16 goes 8 times. 2 into 17 goes 8 times, remainder 1. 2 into 18, this becomes a 2 to 18 is 9 times. Right? 2 into 0, 0 times. 2 into 8, 4 times. Okay? But we still have an even number on top and bottom, so we can divide again by 2. Or 4, or probably 8 as well, but let's do 2 again. 2 into 8 goes 4 times. 2 into 8 goes twice. 2 into 9 is... Uh, 2 with 1 over. Yeah, I made a mistake though, didn't I? Sorry, 2 to 8 should be 4 there, shouldn't it? 2 to 8 goes 4 times. Um, sorry, 2 to 9, 4 times, remainder 1. 2 to 10, 5 times. 2 to 4, twice, right? And that could still be going down. That could still be going down because it's still even. I'm just going to write it out again just because to make the video neater. But 9 over 4 times 4, 4, 5, 2 over 1. Um, and I'm just going to guess that 4 is going to go into both. I'm pretty sure it is. So 4 into 4 goes once. 4 into 4 goes once. 4 into 4 goes once. 4 into 5 goes once. Remainder 1. 4 into 12, 3 times. So we have... 1,113, so 9 times that number over 1 times 1 is just 9 times 1113, right? And so that's 27, carry the 2, uh, 1, 9 is 9 is 11, carry the 1, 10, carry the 1, and 10, right? So we get 10,000. 17. So, well, that's, so that's your answer. Was, right, and that's 
that's the number of male residents. So if 27 of every 48 residents of a town are male <clears throat> and the total population is 17,808, we, get, we got 27 48s of that number. It worked out to be 10,017 residents are male. Okay. Yep. So what's a quick way to find out the number of female residents? Subtract. Subtract. 17,808. Subtract. And so on and so forth. Uh, seven ten is nine. Uh, you guys are gonna so so that would be subtract.